today we are featuring Spotlight. This is from J Bell, and I got a cheat sheet here. Adam Stitcher, is that correct? Yes. And we're playing it over at Tabletopia. J Bell's going to show us how to play it. We also have Sagan from Sobo. Hello, us. hello. It's Southern Board Game Fest. Fellas. Yeah. Yeah, it's morning. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got the game loaded up here. This is a two-player trick-taking game. And Jay's going to show us how to do this thing. Yeah, yeah. So Spotlight is a game of secret area control. And what that means is Fagan and Jesse are going to be trying to control these areas that are shown here, these four area cards. And they're going to use cards from this deck here that has four different colors, four different suits. And they're going to be playing them. They're going to be basically pulling from their hand to try and control these areas with the highest value of a color. So maybe Sagan is trying to take these nine points here. Um, and maybe Jesse's trying to get, you know, this gray suit to win these eight points here. Um, but the game plays over three rounds, and... The tricky part is you choose one color to score. So maybe Jesse chose gray to score this round and Sagan chose blue, but you don't know what your opponent chose. So you are ine inevitably going to have to play some cards that will benefit your opponent. Mm -hmm. It's all about where you play them to not help them out too much. Mm. Makes sense. Makes sense. And these area cards have some fun little effects that'll change the way that each one is played or played to, uh, just to change up the, the strategy a bit. Some of them require you to have the lowest value instead of the highest. Some of them mm. let you place a certain suit color face down. Um, normally, the card limit for cards placed under an area is five, but this one here lets you place six instead of five. So there's a lot of little extra stuff in there. And the last thing that really helps a player out is their spotlight cards. So in every round, a player gets two spotlight cards. These let you change the suit of a card you play to the suit that you chose to score with. So as I mentioned before, if Jesse chose gray, but then he played this purple five, he could play it with a spotlight card. And now that purple five is going to score for gray in that round mm. makes sense so your spotlight card is always guaranteed going to be going to you no matter what color it is yep got it so really that's the only thing we can be super confident of i don't know how tricky of a, of a player jesse is but something leads me to believe that he might be trying to bluff me as much <laughs> as possible what no, I just it's just a an inkling. It's a hunch. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. fellas, you got any any questions about how gameplay works? Um, mm -hmm. other than our starting hand, which is right. How many That'll cards? Be, we... It'll be twelves. So there's twenty four cards. cards total. Yeah, you're gonna play through all of them. Um. And I'll guide you through that as the round goes, but uh, got it. It's some fun uh, little stuff. Six of each suit. Yes, and the number distribution is yeah, two, I, three, three, four, four, five. Yeah, I see it on the on the reference card here. The two, three, three, four, four, five. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Very cool. Well, um. Jesse, I guess I'll uh, give you the honors. Do you want the uh, the first 12 cards or the second 12 cards uh, in the deck here? <laughs> um, I will... Well, if you hit... The deal, well, I'm going gonna, gonna to draw 12. I'm just... Okay. You could, I'm I'll, just going to draw 12. With, do you want... Uh, oh, wait. Well, with multiple people, that might yeah, be an issue. So, yeah, yeah, so... So I'll do you just, want uh... to get the first 12 or the second 12? I'll just draw 12. All right, so you draw your first 12, then I'll draw the rest. Done. All right. 
And I get every... If I can uh, not overshoot my wheel. All right, got my 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Where's the Tabletopia button to automatically organize your hand by, uh, by color? <laughs> right. It doesn't exist. <laughs> so, as you're choosing your cards, there's um, some things you need to consider, right? Uh, the four areas that are out, that'll kind of influence which cards you want to use in which ways. Because mm -hmm. the first thing you're going to do in, the, in round one is discard two of those cards, and they won't be played with at all this round. Okay. So this oh, by is by the way, um, Sliver says hi to Jay. Ah, uh, what's up? <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> so this is really interesting to me already, because since there's only 24 cards in the deck and none of them get set aside, I know exactly what Jesse's got in his hand. Yep. Good point. That's why he's. you're both going to get rid of two of them, but right, you do right. have a strong idea of what he might be going for. Well, this is also interesting because I'll just you know say, since he knows what I've got and I know what he's got, we each have three of each suit. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> but he's got all the fives. <laughs> oh. What? Why would you say that? Because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, all right are you lacking fives <laughs> I, you've got a I, I you've got a really nice strategy to try here um i'm not gonna tell you it i'm gonna try to let you figure it out sure, i think sure. you probably can um but yeah once you've decided two cards you want to discard you can just place them face down anywhere to the side and then yeah. after that you're gonna pick one card that's going to be the color you want to score with. I think probably what I'm going to do will be to discard this one. Oh, I guess uh, I might have showed that for a second. And then that one. And an important okay. note about the card you choose to score with, you're going to place that face down right near your player aid sheet. Um, and you won't play that card this round either. The number value of that card will be guaranteed points. So if you choose a two, you'll get two guaranteed points, and you'll have you know higher numbers to play to the okay. areas. But if you choose a right. five, five guaranteed, and so on. All right. I'm going to score with this one. Wait, say that note again? About the so, scoring card? Yeah. So let's say you have, you know, 77 blue cards. You're probably mm -hmm. going to try to score with blue. And you mm -hmm. choose one of those blue cards, whatever number it is, you place it face down near your player aid, and the number on that card, you'll get those points at the end of the round, no matter what. Um, you can choose a two uh, and reserve your higher numbers to play to the areas, or you can choose like a five if you have one, and that's you know, five guarantee points, but you won't get to play that five to these areas. Okay. Yeah, these cards that you're choosing to score, they will never come back into play. Those will go to the side as points for you, and you and your opponents can't use them in round two or three. All right. Yep, got my scoring cards, got my pile of two discarded cards over here, so I think yep. good to go. I think so, too. Oh. Okay, and our area cards, the six here, looks like, hmm, for some reason, there it is. Is it the space bar? Yeah, yeah space, space bar, bar highlights it. So this six, it says add one value to cards played to this area with a spotlight card. So if you play your spotlight card to any cards here, it's going to be a plus one. Then the seven, the suit with the second highest total value wins the area. You're not aiming to be first or highest. You're aiming to be second highest. 
Mm. And then this eight says add two to the value of cards that are two already. So two is equal fours in this area right here. And then in this last eight, if you play sort of like a soul card by itself, if there are no other cards of that color in this area, it's going to get extra two points. Mm. All right. Makes sense. Could happen. Makes sense to me. All right. All right. The last player to win a game, is it? Goes first? Yeah. Oh, I think... Uh, I'll let you guys figure that out. I think I snuck you on uh, on Crescent City if we're talking about games we played together. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just but games if you're one. Just games <laughs> in general, then you can go ahead and go, because I played Fury of Dracula last night with my uh, high school small group from the church, and they all had to leave, so it was a draw. I did not win. <laughs> <laughs> it lasted too long. I played Viscounts last night with... Uh... Some folks, including BJ from Board Game Gumbo, nice. and I beat them all. <laughs> all right, it's you then. <laughs> Take it away. All right, so I'm just playing a card onto the table. All right, let's uh, let's see. Go over to the right side and to okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's just go over here. All right. I think I'm going to play this. Hmm. Um. Ooh, interesting. I think I'll play that. Hmm. Let's go to here. All righty. I feel like there's subtleties here, and I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're definitely there's uh... secrets here. There's a lot going on. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to make this fun. Okay. We'll just leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's put a... So Jay, what happens in the event of a a tie of the suits? Great question. Um, if a suit is tied by, or an area is tied by two suits, then no one scores that area. Even if uh, it's say Jesse your your suit and one that wasn't chosen, you still don't get it. No one gets ties, so you can use that to your advantage against your opponent. So let's say for this uh, area with the second highest total, right? Let's say, yep. okay, we got seven blue out here right now, but that's not going to score because the second highest is going to score. So mm -hmm. say we get a three purple and a three yellow out there. Does that count? Uh, so I assume that would not score because they're both the second highest. Yeah, you would be right so, there. Supposing, though, that we have a seven blue and a seven yellow. And then some mm -hmm. other suit, a purple at the bottom, would that then score? Yeah, the purple because would win that. they're tied for first? Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Just wanted to make sure. All right, so Jesse went there. I think I'm going to throw down maybe this. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's, I'm going to spotlight on this six right here, and I'm going to spotlight this. Hmm. Oh, yeah, spotlights. <laughs> they are handy. Don't forget them. Mm hmm. Let's spotlight. 
No, we're not going to do that yet. I felt like I still have another one. I might as well save it. All right. So you went with the the four there. I think I'll probably go. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's spotlighting something over here. Spotlight that. Okay. Let's do... Let's do something like this. And keep in mind, areas are full after five cards are played to them. I did forget that. <laughs> 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 Well, let's go with Hmm. Play this one here. Okay. I will go ahead and spotlight this over here. Because if they're full after five, honestly, I probably should have pinned that one down a long time ago. I just completely forgot. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Uh, hi, Lek. This is a strictly two-player game. Yes. Oh, there's Jay right there. Yeah, it's a two-player game with a mysterious floating yellow hand to help us out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's actually a solo mode if anyone is interested in uh, a little bit of solo gameplay you play against uh an ai that um follows your move so it plays two cards it follows wherever you play and then it plays to the leftmost area with the lowest number of cards in it oh, i'll throw this down over here uh, i have one card left who gets <laughs> um where does it go Let's just throw it over here. All right. In that case, this one will go here. And that's it. That's all the cards. Okay. So now we reveal our scoring cards, I guess. Yep. Oh. Got oh. <laughs> well done, Sagan. Did you oh, did you kind God. of figure it out? I, I was suspecting that he was going to go gray because that's what I had the lowest cards in. So mm -hmm. I went with gray uh -huh. and was trying to play gray in a sneak. That's also why I threw my spotlight down on gray on the very, like halfway through. Just to, yeah, a feeling. Yeah. So can't get away with that one anymore. But uh, obviously that whole thing is a wash then. <laughs> yeah, you guys are actually showing off the game really well. Because what happens here is nobody gets these area cards and you only get the points from the cards you chose to score with. Yeah. And, you know, unfortunate for me, I didn't have the five to, to, to hang in there, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about that? Had you chose okay. a little differently, he could have really pulled away. So, yeah. All right. So, um, how do we keep up with our uh, our point? I mean, yeah. So you would just turn over these cards, and they stay with you for points. Um, oh, so they're not away. in the in the in the uh, the deck anymore. Nope. Ah, I see. I see. And I you assume get a little the rest more information these... that way too. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So now gray is weaker for the rest of the game, huh? Mm hmm. Interesting. We'll stack these back up. Is there a faster way to stack these that I'm just missing? I don't know. Um, I think so. If you highlight, well, that's 21 now. So, like, if you control or shift and highlight everything, and you drag it over a deck, it'll turn orange, and that means it's going to group it together. Oh, uh, I see. Um, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay, so four new areas come out, and you guys start round two. The only difference in round two is that you're going to discard one card instead of two. Okay. And I suppose we're just drawing 11 this time, so yep. I'll draw mine. All right, all right. Uh huh. All right. I better figure out the uh, what these area cards do before I start doing anything. Play the second and fourth card to this area face down. Ooh, intrigue. Uh, subtract one value from cards played in this area that are the only suit of that card. The opposite of last time. The suit with the lowest total value wins this area. Huh. Yeah. That okay. We played there. Right, right. Makes sense to me. So Same. we're discarding just one then. Which is going to be this one. I guess I'll just put it back over here in our deck area because we're not using it anymore. And then the scoring card for this round, I suspect I'll throw down this one. Actually. Or will I? I think I'll throw down this one. Whoops. Showed it again real quick. Oh, well, whatever. I don't see it. Eh, All right. It's fine. It's not. It's big. fine. It's just secret information. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've overcome worse. <laughs> All, All right. right who so starts I, the second round. I, um I don't know who is first the second round. Uh that's the player who didn't go first in the first round. Got it. So it's me. That's not it's, me. Yep. It's me and I'm going to lead off with this bam right there mhm mm okay all right let's go with mhm mm Go with here. Okay. Then probably I think it would be in my best interest to go. Mm. There. Interesting. You don't want that subtracted. I play this game with a scorched earth policy. Mm hmm. I see that. No, well, let's just play the spotlight over here and uh, put down this one. Okay. Then I'll play there in a secretive way. Mm hmm. Intriguing. Uh, 
I think I'll go ahead and spotlight here as well. Um, with that. You know, I didn't see what card Jesse chose, and I always try to figure out what card people are playing, what color. Mm-hmm. But I'm notoriously bad at it, and I can't figure it out yet. <laughs> yeah, me too. So that's fine. <laughs> Okay, I figured that that's what would be coming out there. And so I'll go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and spotlight again with that. Close it out. All right, so you definitely have eight there. At least. At least. All right. Um, let's put um, this over here. Okay. I think for me, I should throw this one down here. Hmm. Yeah, either I'm about to get completely bamboozled and lose this, or I feel like I'm in, I've got a pretty good round going. It's one or the other. Uh, I'm more of the uh, the bamboozled feeling. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, let's go with uh, let's match it. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> um, okay. Let's play this over here. Leave me alone! <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Let's go with... Um... Go with this one. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. So I suspected that you were going to go with yellow, but the board doesn't indicate that to me. I was just going based on the starting hand, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, that's my points. Ha ha ha. So yeah, I tricked oh, okay. you again. <laughs> I was about to say, wow, you didn't score anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was yellow. Okay, you went with yellow. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, I went with yellow. You went blue. So <laughs> well, my spotlight card. Now we got to reveal you, this, these, the secret. Early streams, my brain does not work. Boom. Boom. <laughs> so I believe that one is going to go to blue, right? Because we got blue in my spotlight, my spotlight, which is blue. So yeah. this one comes yep. to my side. Then nice. Nice. this one is going to pink, which is obviously nobody. And then mm-hmm. this one is going to yellow, so Jesse gets that. And then this one's coming back to blue. Nice. And yeah. spotlight, spotlight. Also, this is going in my scoring pile. And uh, do we keep our scoring piles face up, or do we try to, you know, is this a memory game, too? <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer to play with them face da- down. That way, you know, you don't know what, or you have to remember what cards are not in the game anymore, and your opponent doesn't know how many points you have. Right, right. Yeah, he has no idea. <laughs> no idea at all. All right, so this is the final round, right? Yep. Round three. Hmm. No discards, and I think you get your ten first. Hmm. 
Oh, cool. So with the area cards, there's 16 of them. But in the mm-hmm. game, you only play with 12. Uh, four of the area cards don't have effects, but you guys did not get those. So you got all the crazy ones. I got one with the, uh, with no effect. Oh, yeah? That eight last round had no effect. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I got to be the boring guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we encourage people like on their very first play, if they're unfamiliar with sort of area control or they want to take it easy, just play the first round with those area cards that don't have effects so you get mm-hmm. the gameplay and then you can spice it up. Right, right. Well, we like it uh we like it spicy. <laughs> Some tra- ooh, the big big boys are are worse there. Yeah. There's the six card limit. Mhm. Everything blue goes face down. That that's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. And the suit with the lowest total area wins. Okay. And we don't discard anything this round, so no tough decision to make there. It's all the tough decision of what are we scoring with? Hmm. Right. Those. Okay. The, the, the strategy. The strategy is formulated, I think. I suspect. We're going to. I think we're going to go with uh, this suit for me. And I think uh, it's Jesse's turn to play first again. Yep. All right. All right. Let's do this. Um, oh, spotlight off the top. Ooh. Oh. Going right off the bat with a spotlight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> where <laughs> will it go? Right here. Mm. Okay. That's a strong play. Yeah, yeah. He really wants that nine. <laughs> It's almost like I, it's the biggest number out. It's almost like it's <laughs> the biggest number out. And you can have six cards played there. Mm-hmm. I think that what I should do, though, is play this right here. this over here okay in that case i'm gonna go ahead and throw this down right there upset the balance a little bit Uh uh-oh mm-hmm okay over here so that becomes a three then because of that area yeah. effect. And I think let's throw this right there. So it's blue. Yeah. If you're telling the truth now. <laughs> <laughs> Honor system. Yes. We'll find out soon. Um, let's go with um, this one here. Okay. 
I think that, um, what's the play here? What's the play? Maybe, maybe we're going to spotlight uh -oh. this. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe <laughs> we'll spotlight this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. So now it's time to do math. Because that's your spotlight card, and it's blue, and I know what it is. Oh. So hypothetically... It's either that. It's 10 a.m. I don't have time to deduce that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> just figuring it out. All right. So let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this down and lock that one. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah, I can't figure out you guys' strategy and like it's it's so interesting to watch people play differently. Uh, just chaos. I always I always think that I have a master plan until it fails. <laughs> Same. Okay, we are going to throw down this one over there. Hmm. Let's throw this over here. Okay. Well, I it's think it's a tie. It's a tie. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead. Hmm. That's locked. That has two more spots left, and Jesse's got at least five. But I'm not sure exactly what his card is at that point. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to throw this over here. Mm. Purple five. That's right. <laughs> Seven there. This is done. This still has things. Still two slots left on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but the way that you said this is done really makes me think you picked yellow. This this is done. <laughs> it has five cards in it. That's done. It has five <laughs> cards in it. That's what I was saying. This is done. <laughs> uh, I was like I've secured this area. I'm gonna win this one. <laughs> Um, let's go with this. Interesting. And by interesting, I mean pretty expected, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw this down over here. So uh -oh. I'll lock that. Final cards. And you'll throw that there. I don't think that what I'm doing here is going to actually make any difference because the lowest suit wins that and I can't get any lower than a yellow two and the that hypothetically would be 11 but I guess I'll just go for the chance that I could win this mm. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if you picked yellow or not, but I'll throw my spotlight for on that side. All right. All will be revealed right now. Right now. It's yellow. yellow. And I got uh, uh, purple. So purple takes this eight. Yellow takes the nine. And revealing these, uh, that's four, that's a three. Purple's taking the seven, and yellow's nice. taking the five. And then nice. I threw a two down, you threw a four down, so I guess we just total them up. Yep. Count up all your areas and your three chosen cards. And if my math does not fail me, we're going to do friendly tens here and lead me to yeah. 41. Yep. 35 on my side. More on your side. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> By, uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. 35 to 40. Congrats on your yeah. victory! Yeah. Yay! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was a, that was a really interesting puzzle um i, I like this yeah one it is a bit um it's too early in the morning for me to make <laughs> to puzzle it out yeah i gotta change these sobo stream times <laughs> I can't yeah well stuff. <laughs> we'll 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 start we'll, we'll talk to john about it we'll uh yeah we'll, we'll see what he, what he thinks about not do it. them <laughs> i mean you know <laughs> but um <sighs> yeah very cool. Rematch at sunset. Um, how was the <laughs> development of this? How, uh, what was the process uh, with uh, co-designer and all that stuff? Yeah. So, so when I joined Adam on this project, um, it was all the bare bones were there. The gameplay was really solid. Um, the art was a little different. Um, the playing cards were mostly white, like the area cards. And mm-hmm. I suggested, you know, Add some table presence, add some some variation by making them more colorful. And mm-hmm. uh, we went ahead with that. The um, symbols for each suit were already there. And I was like, Adam, that's, that's brilliant. Because you can see them, you know, as they're being played. And really helps mm-hmm. with people with uh, color deficiencies. Um, and one of the things that we found out during development was this game plays so much better at two than it used to at four. It was just like mm. a little too much to keep up with, you know? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes but sense. Yeah. yeah. I, when I was uh, looking through the, through the, uh, the rules, just kind of skimming through before, uh, before we started, um, you know, I didn't realize how much, um, just how much strategizing or, or depth there would be because it was very simple, you know, streamlined rule set. I mean, you, you know, everybody watching the stream can see the reference card. It's all just right there on the one card. There's not really anything that's, you know, long form in the rule book that's not pretty easy to get from just this one card. So I was thinking, you know, this will be a very, very simple game. And, and it is simple to pick up, but there's definitely a lot going into, um, you know, how you play against your opponent, um, which is which is really, you know, a fun thing and something that I think is kind of a uniquely two-player games kind of a thing you know you're not playing against the board you're not playing against my own action count it's it's really just um you know you got to figure out what your opponent's doing and how you can counter it um yeah and i like that unless they're unpredictable unless they're, yeah it, you you don't know what i'm about to do because i don't know what i'm about yeah to do. exactly yeah, sometimes it works I had a friend who used to play werewolf or mafia like that. He wouldn't even look at his role. He would literally <laughs> just, just play. And we're just like, what are you, what are you doing? We can't get any information. It's uh, chaos. Yeah, it's chaos <laughs> everywhere. The board gaming <laughs> joker. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I, but, uh, you know, I like the look of it. It's nice, simple, clean. I think, you know, the, um, you know, you, you mentioned Jay bringing in the, uh, uh, how how you made some suggestions for the visuals, um, and I think it does a good job of capturing the feel of the game. You know, it's 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 not busy, it's not too much, it's very simple and easy to read, um, but it looks nice. You know, it's mm-hmm. appealing. 
So. Thank you. Definitely yeah. a good job on that one. And people can check yeah. this out on Tabletopia right now. Yep, yep. It's on Tabletopia, Tabletop Simulator, and it's available for purchase on the Game Crafter, Drive Through Cards, and even Print and Play Arcade for anybody who's super into print and play games. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah, this would be a great print and play. Um, so make sure you guys check that out. Awesome. And um, what else is coming from you, Jay Bell, at this time? Yeah. Um, Frogs and Rain is still in the pitching phase. Uh, I'm going to hit some conventions this year and try to get that into a publisher home so that I can get it produced and, you know, out in the wild. And um, I'm kind of taking it easy on some of my designs, but, mm -hmm. like, there's potentially some game design that I can't talk about because there's, like, theme and and sort of company secrecy, which is exciting, but at the same time, like, wow, I'm up to that point now. Um, <laughs> so more to come on that. Yeah, but, yeah. Awesome. awesome. We're looking forward to it, and you will be at Southern Board Game Fest as well. Yeah. Yeah, so play some games with Jay at Southern Board Game Fest. Sagan, tell us about Southern Board Game Fest. Well, first off, I got to say, I, I intend to play some games with Jay myself, so you maybe get a chance <laughs> yeah. to challenge, uh, challenge both yeah. of us once you're there. Um, yeah, yeah so Southern Board too. Game Fest. We uh, we have got uh, a plan that we are going to be working forward with. Um, firstly, uh, September the 11th, we are having a little mini uh, fest. So obviously we've had some uncertainty over the past, uh, you know, at this point, couple years, I guess, um, with the way things are going to go. Um, right. But uh, yeah, so uh, September the 11th is now our mini Southern Board Game Fest. And it's just a way for people who have uh, held on to their tickets from the cancellation of March 2020 um, and people who, you know, want to keep uh, supporting us. And, uh, you know, it's for a good cause for, for New Hope Community Development. So um, people who didn't request refunds on that or have bought tickets to our next main event, we're going to be throwing a little uh, mini event. And it's going to be uh, here in Lafayette, September 11th, one day thing. We're going to have the library. We're going to have some unpub. We're going to have some um, uh, play to wins. But basically, it's the uh, the event just scaled down. Um, mm -hmm. So make sure you guys check that out. And it is it is free. To anybody who holds a ticket for our uh, for our next main event, which is going to be in March of 2022, um, so if you've still got your ticket from last time, uh, hang on to it. You can come in uh, to the mini event, and uh, also uh, we're going to have it available where if you just want to come for that one day, you don't have an interest in the March event, you can purchase a ticket for just that. Um, and then March 2022, the main event going to be two days of gaming. Uh, you know. 300, 400 games in the library, roughly. We're going to have tournaments, uh, play to wins, uh, unpublished games, and really just a, a great time of gaming. Um, so you can get tickets for that. Um, southernboardgamefest.com. You guys can check that out and uh, follow us on Facebook, Southern Instagram. Southerngamefest.com. Oh, you're, 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 you're right. <laughs> southerngamefest.com. Hey, it's, it's early for me, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Southerngamefest.com. Uh, check us out. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And, um, you know, join us the next time uh, I get a chance to, to play against Jesse. That makes two in a row for me. But uh, he might have the yeah. advantage if we get these things moved out from 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. In the morning, I'm just like, I was told to move pieces, so I'm here to make pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe that's why John wanted to, uh, to have these streams in the morning. It was to give himself give a competitive him an advantage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cause, cause, cause usually John will play with us too. Uh, um, but he had something to do this week, but yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> you know, he set me up for success. For the September event, is a uh, location? Uh, yes, yes. We are going to uh, be having it at uh, Trinity Bible Church here in Lafayette. They have a, a big space that's going to accommodate us, and they've graciously uh, offered to let us uh, use their space. Um, so it's not going to be as uh, big as the, um, the, the event center at, uh, at the university. 
um, which was where we had our last uh, main event and where we will be having our next main event. But um, for a scaled down event, it's going to be a, a great space and uh, we're looking forward to it. Fantastic. Well, thank you both for joining me and showing Spotlight. Remember, you can buy this right now at uh, Drive Through Games and other uh, print uh, places online. <laughs> yeah, there are many, but you can also play yeah. it here on Tabletopia. Make sure you tell J Bell what you think of Spotlight. Uh, maybe I like leave it. a review on the page. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Spotlight. Yeah, it's over here. It's got a. Uh, a 9.3 at the moment with three mm -hmm. ratings. We need more ratings there. So go play Spotlight. Yeah, yeah. Go leave some ratings. Get some attention on that. Yeah, and, with um, three ratings, you can be the decider. You can you yep. can have an, <laughs> an impact on those ratings. That's right. But yeah, thank you all for being here. We're going to raid over to On Tabletop Live. They're doing some UK Games Expo coverage. Uh, they're on commercial break, but that's fine. We're just going to go over there. And uh, that's a wrap for this. So until next time, the box is closed. Have a great Saturday, everybody. Bye, everyone.